Hurricane Sam was a strong, long-lived Cape Verde hurricane that lasted from late September through early October. The 18th named storm, 7th Atlantic hurricane, and 4th major hurricane of the 2021 hurricane season. It, Sam originated from a tropical wave that departed the western coast of Africa on September 19th. The storm would then develop into a tropical depression, and then from there it would rapidly intensify into a Category 1 hurricane. Sam would then briefly pause its intensity before rapidly intensifying into, again, this time into a Category 4 hurricane with winds of 155 miles per hour. Sam would then undergo an eyeball replacement cycle that would knock its intensity down to a 120 mile per hour Category 3 hurricane before re-strengthening into a 150 mile per hour hurricane as a, as a high-end Category 4. After that, Sam would then weaken considerably, turning post-tropical and dissipating over the northern Atlantic. Hurricane Sam, in my opinion, was the perfect case study for a hurricane because of its intensity and its inability to affect land. As hurricane hunters could go out there and collect uh, studies and samples of it without the fear of it striking la uh, land and potentially getting in harm's way of many people. But how well did this channel cover Hurricane Sam? What did we do with all the footage? In this documentary, we will show you, and we will take a trip down memory lane on when Hurricane Sam was first to invest into a tropical depression, into a major hurricane, until it finally dissipated over the Atlantic. Hi, I'm Pat from Pat's Path Predictor, and welcome to the Hurricane Sam documentary. The system that would become Hurricane Sam started off as an invest that was developing off the coast of Africa. Invest 98L is currently over the eastern Atlantic. It is currently developing several hundred mile, miles off the Cabo Verde Islands. This invest came off the African coast uh, about a day ago and has been showing some signs of organization. When I first saw the, what would become Hurricane Sam, it was just an invest that was developing off the coast of Africa. And it had a very Early on, I, it was something I kept an eye on because it had a very good chance of development in the next five days. It was 80% as uh, as the time of the at the, at the time of recording, and just yeah, it was something interesting to keep an eye on. I figured it could become strong, but I had no idea how strong it would get and how fast it would eventually develop either. 98 would continue to develop until it had a 100% chance of development. Well. Uh, Invest 98L, now according to the National Hurricane Center, has a 100% chance of development in the next 48 hours. I have never seen that issued by the NHC since a long, in a, like, I have never seen this before. When I first saw uh, Sam developing, it was developing at a very alarming rate. It had a 100% chance of development, which that's something I never expected to see, you don't expect to see every day. <laughs> and then you see it develop into a tropical depression, very quickly developing into a tropical storm, ra and rapidly intensifying as it goes. Then, at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on September 23rd, Tropical Depression 18 was upgraded to Tropical Storm Sam. And then, after that, it would begin its rapid intensification phase. Tropical Storm Sam has now developed in the eastern Atlantic Ocean as of t uh, 11 a.m. Eastern, uh, eastern Time. So we have the latest public advisory. Uh, the center of Tropical Storm Sam was located near latitude 10.9 degrees north, longitude 38.1 degrees west. It is moving west near 16 miles per hour, a little bit faster than it was at the last time, it was 15 miles per hour last time, now it's 16, so I'd keep that in mind. Its motion is expected to continue uh, over the next several days, but with a gradual slowdown in forward motion. Uh, recent satellite uh, wind data and estimates maximum sustained winds have increased near 50 miles per hour. So this thing's jumped from a 35 mile per hour tropical depression to a 50 mile per hour tropical storm, and... The satellite data can somewhat confirm this, as you can see that, uh, as you can see, Sam has gotten really organized at this point. So. Then, 18 hours later, at 5 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on September 24th, Sam would become a Category 1 hurricane as it continued to rapidly intensify. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Sam is now a hurricane. This is the latest information as of the 11 a.m. Eastern Time Advisory. But here at first, here's the cone. We'll get to that in a second. So, this is the public advisory that was just released. So, as of 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, or 1500 UTC, Center of Hurricane Sam was located, uh, located near latitude of 11.8 degrees north. Uh, 47.3 degrees west. It is moving uh, just n north of due west and near 14 miles per hour and this motion is expected to continue through tonight. So this thing is starting to slow down a little bit. It's slowing down bit by bit. So and a decrease in forward speed with a motion towards the west northwest is expected over the weekend. Maximum sustained winds have increased to 75 miles per hour since the last video. At, at 5 a.m. they came out with an advisory and they they designated this a hurricane uh, at 75 miles per hour, the exact same uh, pressure, 993 millibars. So this hurricane right now is pausing its intensification phase right now. So yeah, uh, so that's what's going on with it. When Sam first became a hurricane, I expected it just to continue rapidly intensifying th just through and through, but instead it took a brief pause to slow down and it did that and it reorganized uh, the way it did and pretty soon after that it just got, went off like a rocket intensifying into a much stronger hurricane than I don't think I think anyone could have expected. After briefly pausing its rapid intensification phase, Sam would resume the intensification becoming a category 2 hurricane at 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on September 24th. Sam is now a Category 2 hurricane. That is the latest on uh, on Hurricane Sam. As of right now, as you can see, this is a very small hurricane. I'm going to pause it right here. As you can see, a well-defined eye has developed. Uh, a, an eye wall, according to satellite, is starting to develop uh, at a better... It's improving. Uh, its, its structure is improving for sure. Maximum sustained winds have increased to 100 miles per hour. Additional strengthening is forecast, and Sam is expected to become a major hurricane by tomorrow morning. Then, on September 25th, at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Sam became a major Category 3 hurricane, with winds of 120 miles per hour. Sam is now a major hurricane, moving over the Atlantic Ocean. Here's the satellite, satellite imagery right here. The maximum sustained winds have increased to near 120 miles per hour, with higher gusts. Sam is now a Category 3 on the Sassier-Simpson scale. Uh, additional strengthening is expected over the next day or so. And Sam is expected to become a Cat 4 hurricane by Sunday. So, yeah, this is the, the so this is the strength, this is the, basically the strength uh, models right here, the intensity. And majority of the models have it at Category 4 strength right here. And HGC has it going up to 140. It's already 120. When Sam became a major hurricane, just things start. Uh, it seemed like uh, Sam was continu would continue to develop, but instead, after a while, it would j it would j literally jump from a Category Two with winds of 110 to 120, and then to 140 miles per hour, all in a span of of six to 12 hours, and that is a very fast rate of intensity and very fast rate of intensification and by the end of it it looks like it literally looked like a circular saw that was about to buzz cut through uh, through something that's how intense it looked at that point then six hours later at 5 p.m eastern daylight time sam became a 140 mile per hour category 4 hurricane and looked like an absolute beast Hurricane Sam is continuing to rapidly intensify at this hour. It is now a Category 4 hurricane with winds of 140 miles per hour. So this thing has really strengthened in the last six hours. Sam would then reach its initial peak at winds of 150 miles per hour, or at least what we thought was 150 miles per hour, on September 26th. When Sam was at peak strength, we would eventually find out it would be at 155 miles per hour instead of 150 and a, another analysis of the storm. However, I found it kind of interesting that there were two uh, drop synths that were put in there that put out very, very strong readings. One drop synth had it, I believe, at 162 knots, the other 157. 
which that eventually that basically equivalates to a 180 to 185 mile per hour hurricane. These are the two drop zones just mentioned. The first one depicts surface winds of 157 knots or 181 miles per hour. The second one consists of 162 knots or 186 mile per hour uh, surface winds. So this here was an area of concern. If those cleared out, that would have made it a very strong Category 5, the, about the strength of Dorian and Irma. So that was very scary to see. But another possible thing that could have happened with that is that it was impacted by a mesocyclone in the, or a mesovortice in the hurricane, which they develop in very strong hurricanes. Mesovortices are small-scale rotational features found in convective storms, and in this case, the eyewall of a tropical cyclone. Mesovortices range in diameter from tens of miles to a mile or less and can be immensely intense. Hurricane Michael, it had six mesovortices in, uh, in, by, in the eyewall, and Hurricane Ida in tw uh, just this year that hit Louisiana on the anniversary of Katrina, it had four mesovortices, and you could see them clearly on radar. But it was just very interesting to see. After reaching its initial peak, Sam would start to undergo an eyewall replacement cycle, which would weaken it considerably. Sam would eventually, its core would start to collapse. The eye shrink, shrunk at a very, very fast rate. But, yeah, I would, yeah, it turned out an eyeball replacement cycle was going on, and Sam's windfield had just expanded in size. It knocked down its intensity from 155 to 120 miles per hour, and the storm kept chugging along. Hurricane Sam has leveled off on its intensity. As you can see at the satellite, the hurricane does not look nearly as impressive as it did a few hours ago. It was at 145 miles per hour. Now it has winds of 125 miles per hour with higher gusts. It is weakened to a Cat 3 on the Sapphire Simpson scale, which it's still a major hurricane, but it's a significantly weaker hurricane now. So that's some good news right there. After completing the eyeball replacement cycle, Sam would re-strengthen into a Category 4 hurricane on September 28th at 5 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Sam would also be much larger in size, and it would uh, continue to slowly re-strengthen back into what some could say its former glory. Hurricane Sam is re-intensified to a Category 4 hurricane. It currently has winds of 130 miles per hour, as the, according to the latest NHC public advisory. We have it right here. As of 11 a.m., the eye of Hurricane Sam was located near 17.5 degrees north, longitude 54.3 uh, degrees west. Sam is moving towards the northwest near 8 miles per hour, uh, within this motion with an increase of forward speeds expected it during the next couple of days. A turn toward the north of is forecast to occur by Friday. Sam would strengthen to a 140 mile per hour hurricane early on September 29th as it was making an approach to Bermuda. Hurricane Sam has re-strengthened uh, to a 140 mile per hour hurricane at this current time. So it has re-strengthened even some, uh, some more. So. We had the latest on, uh, on it according to NHC. At 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the eye of Hurricane Sam was located near latitude 18.4 degrees north, longitude 55.6 degrees west. Sam is moving towards the northwest near 9 miles per hour. And this general motion with an increase of forward speed is expected during the next couple of days. And, uh, and a turn towards the north is forecast by Friday. On the fat forecast track, Sam will pass well to the east and northeast of the Leeward Islands through Wednesday. Maximum sustained winds are near 140 miles per hour with higher gusts. Sam is now a Category 4 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. Some fluctuations in intensity are expected during the next couple of days, but Sam is forecast to remain a major hurricane through late this week. A tropical storm watch was issued for Bermuda at 5 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on September 30th due to the potential of tropical storm conditions that may be brought by Hurricane Sam. And today's topic right now at, at the current time is Hurricane Sam, which is approaching Bermuda as we speak. It's still a Category 4 hurricane. Winds are, are now up to 145 miles per hour. I think they upped, it's been like that. They, was, they updated that yesterday. So 
Yeah, we'll go ahead and read the NHC advisory. We have a tr now have a tropical storm watch for Bermuda, and a tropical storm watch uh, means tropical storm conditions are possible within the watch area, generally within 48 hours. Then, 12 hours later, a tropical storm warning was issued for Bermuda. Tropical storm warning now in effect for Bermuda as Hurricane Sam is on approach. As you can see on the satellite right here, we can uh, the, the eye is nearly structural. If this part right here and part of the southeastern part of the eye fills in, it'll be uh, it'll be circular right there. So we have the latest advisory out on Hurricane Sam. Tropical storm warning now in effect for uh, Bermuda. Tropical storm warning means tropical storm conditions are expected somewhere within the warning area within 36 hours. For, uh, for storm information specific to your area, please monitor product, products issued by your National Meteorological Service. So, Bermuda, uh, I would keep an eye on your, uh, I would keep an eye on your national, web, uh, whatever National Meteorological Service you have over there. So, yeah, as of 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the eye of Hurricane Sam was located uh, near latitude 23.6 degrees north, longitude 60.9 degrees west. Sam is moving towards the north. Uh, west at near 14 miles per hour and a turn to the north northwest with an additional increase of forward speed is expected tonight. A turn towards the north is anticipated on Friday and a northeastern motion is forecast to begin on Saturday. On the forecast track, this core of sand will pass to the east of Bermuda in early Saturday. Maximum sustained winds still are at 145 miles per hour, so this is a very powerful hurricane that has expanded in size. So. Yeah, still a cat four. Some fluctuations in intensity are expected during the next couple of days, but Sam for is forecast to remain a major hurricane into Saturday with mo uh, more significant weakening anticipated in the weekend. Sam would then unexpectedly strengthen to a 150 mile per hour hurricane on October 1st at 5 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, reaching its secondary peak. <laughs> I will tell you this. I did not expect Sam to get up to a 150 mile per hour hurricane once again. I did not expect that to happen. I thought with the cooling temperatures of the ocean and the increase of wind shear as the storm is going further north, Sam would start leveling off and weakening, but it somehow got up to 150 miles per hour, which that's, I'll admit I was, I was wrong when I said it was going to be 130 level off at 140 tops. It went up to 150, and it just, I think that at that point, it defied everyone's expectations at that point. And thankfully, it was far enough from Bermuda for the tropical storm force winds to stay offshore and for the uh, and for the island just to get some rain and some, and some and some a little bit of wind and everything and nothing more. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this, but Sam has essentially regained all of its strength. It now has winds of 150 miles per hour according to the hurricane hunters that are out there. We'll get to that in just a second, but we're going to go ahead and rate, uh, read the latest NHC advisory right here. A tropical storm warning is still in effect for Bermuda. As of 2 a.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time, the eye of Hurricane Sam was located near latitude 25.6 degrees north, longitude 61.6 degrees west. Sam is moving towards the north-northwest near 16 miles per hour. A or turn towards the north with a slight increase of forward speed is anticipated later today, and a northeastward motion is forecast to begin on Saturday. On the forecast track, the core of Sam will pass east of Bermuda on Saturday. Data from Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft indicate that maximum sustained winds have increased to 150 miles per hour with higher gusts. Sam is a strong Category 4 hurricane on the Sapphire Simpson hurricane wind scale. Some fluctuations in intensity are expected during the next day or so, followed by gradual weakening. Sam is forecast to remain a major hurricane into Saturday, with additional weakening forecast later this weekend. Hurricane force winds extend outward 60 miles from the center, so no change from that. But tropical storm force winds now extend 175 miles from the center, so this hurricane has been expanding in size again. Sam would then begin to weaken shortly after obtaining this peak, becoming a Category 3 hurricane by 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on October 3rd. Later that day, Sam would then weaken down to a Category 2 hurricane, and its core was starting to collapse. Hurricane Sam continues to weaken at this hour. It is now a low-end Category 2 hurricane with winds of 100 miles per hour. Back to the radar. You can see Sam has organized a little bit better. However, there is this patch of dry air right here. You can uh, see that right here. You can see that. 
we're going to go ahead and go to the true color zoomed out. You can, it's even defined on this. You can see that, okay, all right, I don't know why those blue lines are there, but it doesn't obscure what I'm trying to point out. So yeah, there is like this dry patch right here. There's this dry patch of, of just, it. They're just yeah, the dry patch of a, the hurricane right here. It's not really affecting the core right now, but I'll be keeping a close eye on it. Same with then week into a category one on October 4th, and it would greatly expand its size shortly thereafter. Hurricane Sam is still a hurricane. It is about to become a post-tropical cyclone within a matter of hours. What I have pulled up here is the public advisory just issued about uh, as, uh, as of 11 p uh, p.m. Eastern Daylight Time or about 3 a.m. Global Military Time. So this is the, the advisory right here. We're going to go ahead and just go ahead and uh, talk about this first because there are a few changes in here that we, uh, that we should be aware of bef uh, before we go to the satellite. First thing is that SAM is located near latitude 47.7 uh, degrees north, longitude 40.2 degrees west. SAM is moving towards the north-northeast near 29 miles per hour, so it is slowing down right now. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that. This general motion should continue overnight with a decrease of forward speed. A slow east to northeastward motion is forecast to begin by late Tuesday. A northeastward motion is expected by Wednesday and Wednesday night. Maximum sustained winds have decreased to 85 miles per hour with higher gusts. Although gradual weakening is forecast during the next few days, Sam is expected to transition into a powerful post-tropical cyclone over the North Atlantic within the next 6 to 12 hours. So... We're going to actually go ahead and go to the satellite, because this thing is barely a hurricane anymore. This thing has no resemblance to a hurricane at this point. This thing is turning into a basically a post-tropical cyclone as we speak. Look at this. Like, Also, another thing I'm noticing is that Hurricane Winfield is expanding at a rapid rate. So we'll just go ahead and talk about that. Hurricane force winds are still 80 miles from the center, but look at the tropical storm force winds, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap. That is a massive amount of expansion in six hours, ladies and gentlemen. They, they now extend 460 miles from the center. Holy crap. That's actually, that's that's ridiculous at this point. It, so Winfield would just explode in size as it was moving further north. And then eventually it would just dissipate right then and there. It lost all circulation, lost all form of itself, and with that, that's basically what happened with Hurricane Sam. And it was just, just a very interesting hurricane to cover. It was, in my opinion, the perfect case study for uh, for that to happen. And yeah, the reason I said it was a per the perfect case study was because the hurricane. It would never impact land. It would ne got never got into harm's way. Yet it strengthened to such a powerful hurricane. But yeah, it's finally it's a good thing that this thing was just a, a, a fish menace. It's a good thing this didn't impact land. And and I'm and it's just it's just a really good hurricane to uh, to study honestly. Rather than uh, uh, seeing the destruction of lots of land and property if it, this thing made land. It's just good for every once in a while to see a very powerful hurricane that's out to sea, and you can just study it and not do anything else with it, and not just uh, have to go th uh, go through it and uh, go through it and just issue uh, hurricane warnings and evacuate people and everything like that. So, I'd say this. I'd say uh, it. We got very lucky with Hurricane Sam, but yeah, there it is. The perfect case study. Hurricane Sam, the, that's the perfect case study, in my opinion, of a hurricane, a very powerful hurricane it is. Hurricane Lorenzo was also a good case study as well, but for me, when I was covering it on my YouTube channel, that was the perfect case study to go through because it did not affect land, did not kill anyone, it stayed out to sea, and it was very powerful as well. But with that said, that's the end of this documentary. I hope you enjoyed it. With that being said, have a wonderful day, everybody. Stay safe.